Um, it was exciting, to say the least. Um, you know, you go into every tournament, uh, expe like not expecting a good result, but hoping that all the training that you've done, that will, it will eventually lead to something good at the tournament, and that day everything felt right, and I got a good result at the end. Very rewarding. Like, you get a lot of feeling of accomplishment, like fencing against like people who've come back from the Olympic Games. It's a, it's a very difficult bout for me. Um, we fence every day in practice, so we know how, we know more or less how like the actions we're going to do. So it was very difficult to surprise him. It's, it's funny, it's, it's, it's like you take the surroundings out of it and it's just like fencing him in practice and training. There's, the pressure is different because I'm just trying to figure out someone that I fence every single day. And uh, he's very experienced. Like, he also won uh, world championships in, for team in uh, 2011. So he's very strong. And uh, it was a very close match, but I managed to win. Uh, I get a lot more like bouting around here. Like we train every day. There's weight training three times in the morning. So I guess like just the consistency of the training has helped a lot in preparing for these competitions. It made me prioritize everything and and figure out what's important in my fencing because obviously um, time here is is limited. But balancing school and fencing, so uh, taking care of my body. Um, making sure I get the most out of my physical training so that when I show up to the tournament, you know, if, if say, I didn't get a lot of sleep the week before, something that I'm still physically ready to compete at the highest level um, and that, you know, I'm in control of everything that I'm doing. Okay, so when you're competing as part of a team, like, there's a lot more, there's a lot more pressure, but there's also a lot more support. Like, you're not, you're not fencing for yourself, so. I would say it's more rewarding than anything I, would, I have done individually because you, you have success as a team and all the hours you see everyone else putting in in addition to you. Um, it's very, very sweet. The best place, I would say uh, Jordan. I went to Jordan uh, two years ago for Junior World Championship. Italy is one of my favorite places. The competing, uh, the competing never gets old. The, like, the drive to, to do the best you can at every single competition. Um, and the, the drive to validate all the training and the hard work you put in at practice, that never gets old.